blossom nor fruit be on the vines or the produce of the olive may fail and the fields yield no food the flock be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stalls yet i will rejoice in the lord and i will take joy in god of my salvation hallelujah god the lord is my strength he makes my feet like that of a deer he makes me tread on high places hallelujah we've been hearing about going up to the high places hallelujah that even hallelujah even elijah he was called by god hallelujah to go to mount carmel in the scriptures and he went to the top of mount carmel hallelujah i don't know how discouraged you might be even on the way but the bible says do not let your heart be troubled but be of good cheer hallelujah for god has overcome this world jesus has overcome this world and he is able to take you to the highest place hallelujah hallelujah so today praise him rejoice hallelujah again i say rejoice hallelujah habakkuk might have not seen anything but he made a decision that he is going to rejoice and praise and bless the lord hallelujah hallelujah and god will do things for him and god will work on his behalf hallelujah we're going to sing this song with faith hallelujah oh we worship you Keep 
to set us free. Hallelujah, to set us free, to restore us double. Hallelujah, when we turn to Him. Oh, hallelujah, today in, in your worship, hallelujah, we plead the blood. Hallelujah, we plead the cross. We plead every sacrifice that you have done for us, oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, to lift you up in this place. Oh, we worship you. Tell the roof, the keys in the house. Jesus, I don't care how oh, I don't want the way to get the healing I got a faith without a ceiling So tear off the roof, the king of the house Tear off the roof, the king of the house to Jesus, I don't care how, I don't have to wait to get the healing, I've got a faith without a ceiling, so tear off the roof, it's the kings in the house. Shaking, 
Lord, hallelujah. We will look unto you, O Lord Jesus. We will look to the rock who is higher than I. Hallelujah. Today, O Lord, hallelujah. We pray that every burden will leave our hearts, O Lord Jesus. Your words say that you're close to the broken hearted to save such with a contrite spirit, O Lord. O cause us to ascend into your holy hill, O Lord Jesus. O we worship you, Lord. Christ is my Yeah. 
forth Lord I thank and I praise you Lord I give you glory I give you glory I give you honor Jesus 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 I bless this congregation in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit hallelujah what a pleasure pleasure it is to stand with the word and minister forth hallelujah it's such a joy and such a privilege hallelujah hallelujah so as we as 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 we start today let's read isaiah 40 31 and the word says but those who wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint yes this is the word for this year yes as a church we will mount up with wings like eagle. We will run and not faint. We shall walk and not faint and we shall run and not be weary. Hallelujah. But this 
is for those who wait upon the Lord hallelujah hallelujah who are the people who can wait upon the Lord the people who trust upon the Lord as we sang even when we go through the floods as the storm hits us we should be stable and we should know how to wait upon the Lord this will happen only if you have trust so today as I minister forth let this be the heading of the topic and let us ask God let us ask our Lord and Savior Jesus grace to trust hallelujah hallelujah the word says in Proverbs 3 5 trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and this means trusting on the Lord only it's not like 50 50 now giving the Lord 60 and we 40 or 90 10 it is hundred percent trust upon the Lord and the Lord alone hallelujah the word again goes to say in Psalms 84 verse 12 O Lord of hosts blessed is the man who trusts in him you want blessings yes we got to trust in the Lord unless you trust in the Lord the blessing doesn't flow hallelujah the word again goes to say in Psalms 32 verse 10 but those who trust in the Lord mercy shall surround them hallelujah hallelujah Jesus we all need mercy the mercy comes on a person who trusts upon the Lord that's how important is the trust on the Lord is the trust brings forth faith hallelujah Psalms 21 7 says for the king trusts in the Lord and through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved the king is a person who has all the powers on land but he still reads the mercy of the Most High God only then he can stand without being moved church let us pray in oneness as you sit there tell to your neighbor who's sitting let's trust in the Lord like never before Lord give us the grace that we trust and we trust in you and you holy hundred percent let us pray Psalms 90 14 who oh, satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days hallelujah this is one prayer that I always say that Lord give me the mercy that we enjoy our life and we need all of it I stand here by grace and grace and grace alone I am grace built there's nothing of mine what I can give you but it's the Word of God that moves Hebrews 4 12 says the word is a double-edged sword it pierces through our hearts hallelujah as we speak forth I pray that the trust in you grows in leaps and bounds hallelujah again if you look at Proverbs 20 29 25 it says but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe there is safety there is protection when you trust in the Lord Proverbs 16 20 says and whoever trusts in the Lord happy is he there is joy if you trust in the Lord Proverbs 28 25 says but he who trusts in the Lord will be prospered there is prosperity there is protection there is joy what is stopping you from trusting the Lord hallelujah hallelujah Isaiah 6 26 3 says you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon him your mind has to be upon the Lord and trust him and he will be blessed and he will be kept in perfect peace if you lack peace and the perfection of the peace you can understand there is a lack in your trust a lack in your faith faith 
brings you courage, strength, and there will be immense peace inside of you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 35 again goes to say, every, God, every word of God is pure. Is pure. He's a shield to those who put their trust in Him. This again is talks about protection. There is nothing that shall keep you from trusting upon the Lord because the Lord is all that we can trust upon. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ is bigger than anything in this world. The name of Jesus is the most powerful name. Hallelujah. And you can trust upon that name any day, at any point of time, however big your problems are, however small or big or whatever your problem is you can trust upon that one name that is the name of Jesus Christ Proverbs 11 28 says he who trusts in his riches will fall this book is written by one of the most wealthiest person and he says if you trust in your riches you will fall Proverbs 28 26 says he who trusts in his own heart is a fool. The present day says, believe your heart. But the word says, believe in his word and trust in him and not in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't follow what your heart says. Follow what the word says. There is power in this word. There is power in this word. There's only one thing that you can trust. Jeremiah 17 5 says that says the Lord cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength whose heart departs from the Lord if your heart is departing from the Lord if it's getting moving further from the Lord no your trust is upon is not upon the Lord your trust is upon man you're believing in yourself hallelujah the word says Righteousness. There are lots of promise for the righteous people. But as Ezekiel 33, 13 says, The righteous shall surely live. But it goes on to say, But those who trust in their own righteousness and commit iniquity, none of its righteousness works shall be remembered. But because of the iniquity that he has committed, he shall die. Don't count your self-righteousness or your works or don't trust upon your own works. Let it be the works that you're doing for the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your trust be upon the Lord and the Lord alone. Hallelujah. Isaiah 40, 31 again says, But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yes, I know you are trusting and believing upon the word. But make sure, my brother, my sister, your laziness should not be tamed. You should not be termed as a waiting process or a test of faith. I rebuke every kind of laziness in the name of Jesus to depart from each soul. Hallelujah. You, can, you cannot keep saying, God will help me and just be idle all your life and then blame God for not showing you an open door or giving you an open opportunity. There are opportunities knocking at your door. And you stay idle and your laziness. Don't bring excuses. But wait upon the Lord, trusting Him, trusting His name, trusting His power. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Trusting Him, Him alone. Church, I will always tell you, there is always a battle in your mind. There's always trust issues that rise up. There's always a second voice that comes up saying the right opposite 
what the Lord puts into your heart, what your pastor prophesied over you. These days, the coming days, you should allow God's truth to win the warfare in your mind. Otherwise, the miracle that God has for you may not manifest. Hallelujah. Every second sound that is coming into your mind, against your visions, against God's promises, let it be God in the name of Jesus. I stand here in the name of Jesus, the authority in Jesus, the grace of Jesus. Every, everything that is every second voice, every warfare of the mind, be broken and gone in the name of Jesus. Let the trust be built, be built in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. He is great. He's awesome. There's nobody you can trust like Jesus. Deuteronomy 32, 11. It says, as an eagle stirs up the nest, hovers over its young, spreading out its wings, taking them up, carrying them on its wings. How many of you all know we are talking about eagles? Are you an eagle Christian? If not, be an eagle Christian. There are two animals of the bird that a God is referred to as eagle, the power, the strength, the king of birds. Other is the lion. So as a bird. So what happens is in the nest, as an eagle stirs up the nest, you know what happens? When the eaglets are hatched, the nest is set up. The nest is made up of the soft leaves, the feathers, and it is a very comfortable place for the eaglets. And the mama eagle goes, hunts, gives them the best of food. And the eaglets grow. They grow in strength. They grow big. They go big. They're comfortable. That's what every mama does. Make sure their children are comfortable. That's what our pastors do. Make sure all the church members, the brothers and sisters are comfortable. Hallelujah. They are fed. They have become strong. They become strong. But this is an advice. They become so strong and comfortable that they don't want to fly. They don't want to fly. The eagles are meant to fly. This can be an advice to your parents advice to the parents listening you are making your children so comfortable they, they are, that you are making them lazy they are making them comfortable they are, you're, you can be a block to them flying high hallelujah you know what it what happens and as the eagle grows the eagle eaglet grows big the mama eagle comes it flaps the wings it flaps the wings and what happens is there is a big wind and the wind blows away the feathers and the leaves and there are these thorns that poke and this become this brings a discomfort to the eaglets now the eaglet tries comes starts complaining hallelujah this is not enough he starts complaining, Mama Eagle, take me out. Take me out. When situations are bad, you start complaining. Hallelujah. The eagle says, the Mama Eagle takes the baby eaglets on its wings and soars up high. And as they soar up, if it was today's day, they will take a selfie and say, wow, wow. What a beautiful sight. It's nice. It's beautiful. And what the mama eagle does is he will drop the eaglets down. So there was a period where they said from complaining, it says, oh, this, even this is worse because they have no strength in their wings. So they come dropping down to the earth. But you always remember the eagle is faster than the drop. 
you always remember your God is faster and bigger than your problems even as you drop he will come and carry you up he will carry you up most of the problems or the tests is just they're making you stronger is building your faith is is strengthening your wings the wings of faith the first time you drop your faith is a little but as he carries you up your faith builds the mama eagle again carries carries the baby eagle it's up and it doesn't leave the eagle there hallelujah hallelujah he again drops the eagle down he again drops the eagle down as he drops once twice thrice and after the fourth time as the as he starts flapping the power comes as the flap as you flap as you flap in prayer as you flap in prayer as you pray in the spirit your power increases your trust increases your faith increases hallelujah 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 unless you trust forth unless your trust is built you cannot break forth into your blessing you cannot break forth into your blessing unless you trust forth hallelujah jesus 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 is mighty so it is only by trust you can break forth into a blessing hallelujah you look at you look into the book of job as job we pastor was saying there was or theology and say there was only like months of suffering that job went to, went in, went through but he trusted in the lord he waited upon the lord hallelujah but when you go up to job 42 you will see the later days were better than the beginning he was blessed much more he saw his children's children up to four generations he lived life to full i would ask you all to turn your bibles to job 42 some of your breakthroughs 42 verse 10 and your breakthrough is and the lord restored job's loss, losses when he prayed for his friends indeed the lord gave job twice as much as he had before twice as much twice as much it is time church brothers and sisters to start praying for your pastor pray for the church your family your friends your colleagues that's where you're going to break forth into a blessing hallelujah last time i met a person and i told them please start praying for your mother-in-law please start praying for your mother-in-law and that person came and told to me i cannot i cannot pray for my mother-in-law and if she's going to go to heaven i don't want to be there let that not be your attitude make sure you reach heaven without any flaw in your prayer trusting upon pray for your enemies pray for the people who betrayed you that's going to bring in a blessing in joel 3 it says everything the locust has eaten every single thing is going to be restored this year hallelujah hallelujah in 7 4 let it be your health let it be your finances let it be your promotions everything restored in the name of jesus everything be restored in the name of jesus restored in the name of jesus hallelujah i'd like to quote a few more examples your prayer style depends on your trust in the lord if you take john 6 there you see the you know the whole story but you see two styles of prayers here one is how philip prayed and one is how andrew prayed yes there was five thousand people there five thousand men with their family that sh that should be around let it be their wife and their children 
let's say around 30,000 people, how will they feed? And all of you all know there was only five pieces of bread and two fish. What is prayer? Prayer is talking to God. How you converse with God. God asked Philip, how will we feed them? Philip said to the Lord, this is impossible. The words of faith was not flowing out of Philip. God was expecting faith. Some people's prayer are like that. I am a worm. I'm useless. How can I go forward? I'm not educated. My father has no money. X, Y, and Z. No trust in the Lord. No faith. Philip was like that. But Andrew's prayer was completely different. Andrew's prayer was a prayer of possibility. He looked, he looked around and he found this little boy. And this boy had five pieces of bread and two fish. Let your prayer be like that of Andrew. In your prayers, you need to see opportunities and possibilities. It was a small possibility. It was after all the food of a little boy. But he saw the possibility. It might be a small thing in you. The little thing, the little faith, the little that you can do. God will move through you. God will move through you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor said, this is the second month. This is the month of second chances. A double portion of anointing. This is a year where you will change levels. Your levels are changing. An anointing to break forth. An anointing to build. You will build your businesses. You will build your career. The church will be built. Your health will be built. Hallelujah. Without trust, the blessings won't break forth. The trust that is coming upon you today will enforce the blessings to break forth hallelujah with the little that you have give it to the Lord place it at his feet let it be the smallest and as Philip as Andrew placed the bread the Lord did the following he took it even if it is a little what you have the Lord will take it he will bless it he will break it and he will multiply it Everything will be multiplied that you give to the Lord. Hallelujah. Everything will be doubled. We are looking for a hundredfold of blessings. Nothing less than a thirtyfold. That is the promise for the children of God. Hallelujah. He multiplied. He gave it and they were satisfied. And there was leftovers. That means you will have more than enough and where you will be able to give. That will be your portion today. Hallelujah. As we stand forth, I say, you are breaking forth into a blessing. You will see this in your life this year. Everybody was going, but you will go further. Everybody will be standing but you will stand out. Everybody will be doing, but you will do it differently. Faith is an action. Someone said to you, said once, if you cannot fly, you run. If you cannot run, you walk. And if you cannot walk, you crawl. But let that be an action. And you will break forth the show in your prayer life. Your prayer style will change. Your prayer language will change. There will be a break forth in relationships. Hallelujah. There is a break forth in the relationships. Hallelujah. This is what happens when you trust in the Lord. 
you will walk into that blessing this year everything started well in the marriage it was like darling sweetheart hi how are you doing it was all love but now you're doubting you say this cunning attitude no it's returning give your relationship into the hands of the Lord hallelujah hallelujah God is building up relationships when God wants to bless you remember he will give you a relationship and devil and when the devil wants to destroy you he will also give you a dis relationship you better discern where your relationship is from is it from God or is it from the devil and something that you got to live right now is control and ego these days you are even controlling the Holy Spirit last year I spoke to one of my one of the brothers he said even he wants to control get control of the as he speaks in tongues he says I am scared if I will go out of control in tongues there are people standing there and sitting there and watching they're scared to speak in tongues go to the next level and you were not afraid when you were drunk with wine be drunk in the Holy Spirit these days you're going to be be drunk in the Holy Spirit a breakthrough in your visions always remember the plan of God is bigger than the biggest vision that you have for yourself a breakthrough is coming in your health hallelujah as the year ends 2024 you will be healthier stronger in your body in your mind in your soul in your spirit there's a break forth in your finance hallelujah hallelujah a small example and I'm closing down with this hallelujah Ruth was a Moabite but when she said to Naomi I trust and she said your God is my God and you know after that what happened how she was blessed boss blessed her how good the Lord is Moab didn't give him Boaz didn't give him give Ruth the ration of our parts that's how God blesses us Boaz just left he scattered he scattered sheaves wheat sheaves on the way this is how your blessing is going to be this year take it in the name of Jesus this is how your blessing is going to be as you walk as you walk the walk with Jesus trusting upon him trusting upon the name hallelujah 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 your blessings are on the way you just need to pick it up in the name of Jesus you just need to pick it up on in the name of Jesus let your capacities increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 we praise you we glorify you we exalt you hallelujah Lord I bless the church in the name of Jesus their trust level increase the levels change in the name of Jesus oh give us the grace to trust in you give us the grace to trust in your word give us the grace Lord oh let us be pulled on thy grace Lord oh Lord hallelujah Lord I bless Lord I bless Lord I bless Lord thank you Lord for being in the midst of us Lord thank you Lord for all the angels that ministered forth Lord hallelujah 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 as we come Lord we surrender again once forth Lord we give our bodies we give our mind Lord oh hallelujah every chain that is required in us Lord to build our trust in you Lord hallelujah hallelujah build us Lord let us let us be built on you and you alone Lord hallelujah Amen. we pray in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus you are the word at the beginning one with God the Lord most high you hidden glory and Beautiful name it is. What a 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 beautiful name it is. What
beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater.
beautiful name it is and nothing can stand again what a powerful name it is the name of Jesus what a powerful name what a powerful name Blessed be the name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy, it falls like the sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling. Wherever you are, lift your hands and sing. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falls like the sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me. Hey, oh, I receive your mercy. Hey, oh, I receive your grace.
Ani Ardesh to the Gidarta, we give you praise, we give you glory. We thank you for the word that you have caused us to hear tonight, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for speaking to you through your servant tonight. We thank you for the beautiful word, Lord. We choose to trust in you tonight. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. We pray that tonight the season will change, Lord, as we trust in you, Lord. We will not be walking, looking down. You will lift us up, Lord. Oh, as we trust in you, will take us to places that we have never been before. Oh, hallelujah. Continue to speak forth your life-giving word. Hallelujah. Lord is healing somebody of a skin condition tonight. Somebody who is writing the exams. God is blessing you in a very special way. Somebody who is finding it difficult with your studies. God, hallelujah, is touching you. Somebody who is... Uh, stuck in your career. God is setting you free tonight. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Continue to minister your word. We give you all the glory and the honor. Amen. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, Father, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Whatever you have in your hands, give it to the Lord. Break it and multiply it. He will give it back to you. Hallelujah. He'll increase it and multiply it to you. Hallelujah. Oh, May that miracle happens in your life tonight. Everything that you've given to the Lord, let it multiply for in the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. What a beautiful word we heard tonight. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Job chapter 42 and the 10th verse it says and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends when he prayed for his friends also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Pastor said the second month of uh, February is a month of double double. In the beginning of the year, I said it's a code, uh, code scripture this year. Double, double, double favor, favor, favor. It's a code scripture, favor, favor. Hallelujah, glory to God. Prasadam, prasadam. Twice, double, double. And pastor said things get better. Hallelujah, some of you are stuck, things will get better. The Bible says God gave him twice as much as before. Some of you are going to move into your double. Some of you are going to have twice as much as before. Verse 12 says in Job 42, The Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than the beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, and 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 she asses. The message translation, Job 42.10 says, After Job had interceded for his friends, God restored his fortune and then doubled it. Restored his fortune and then doubled it. The NLT version says, Job prayed. When Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes. In fact, the Lord gave him twice as much as before. In the scripture, You'll see twice. Hallelujah. How many of you will say twice? Twice as nations, I will go and minister. Twice, hallelujah, as money I'll make for the glory of God. Twice as ministry I will do for Jesus. Twice as much I'll walk in love. Twice as much, hallelujah, I'll speak forth God's word. At least two hours I'll sit in God's prayer. Hallelujah, closet, hallelujah. Praise God. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. The power of two. Devil will not follow this month. Accidents will not follow this month. Misfortune will not follow. Bad, uh, come on. Bad report will not follow. All goodness and mercy shall follow you. Put your hands together. Oh, the days of my life, especially in the month of February 2024, for the glory of God. Amen. When you look into the book of Job, sometimes people will get this distress about the suffering that you look in his life. But when you read uh, the scripture in the biblical perspective, you will understand it's not a, actually a book of suffering. It's a book of hope. 
it's a message of hope why because the bible says in job 42 and the 16th verse after this lived job 140 years and he saw his sons and sons sons even four generations bible says he lived 140 years in that only one year less than a year he gone through the sufferings how do you know that when you read the book of job chapter 7 and the third verse it says so am i allotted months of futile suffering and long nights of misery are appointed for me he said months of suffering months of futility not years so don't blame god don't sit in your problems come on somebody for years and years that is not the plan of god the plan of god is what that it might be a few months if you're going through a job kind of problem and God will turn your fortunes and God will restore your double that's why I told you it's a message of hope come on all those who are suffering all those who are tested for the faith Job said if I've tested I'll come forth as gold hallelujah if I've tested in fire you might be going through a fiery circumstance but you're going to come forth as gold hallelujah in much time come on somebody tonight what a man thinketh in his heart so is he if you're going to keep thinking that oh it's going to be years and years you will stay there in your misfortune you stay there in your delay you stay there in your suffering blaming God and misinterpreting misrepresenting God and misinterpreting the scripture Bible read the Bible it's the only way that you'll never misinterpret God pastor said there was a time in his life he would be afraid to open the book of Job he said he will just open it if he sees the book of Job he'll close it it was months hallelujah he went through temptation challenges devil attacked all that he had you know the story hallelujah but did you take proper perspective God restored everything back in a double fold hallelujah See, it gets better. Look at two people and say, it gets better. It gets better. I like what pastor said. He said, don't attach yourself emotionally to the valleys. In other words, don't write a book on your valleys. Write a book on how you went through your valleys. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Don't stay in your problem. Tell somebody how you went through the problem. Don't stay in the fire. Isaiah said, though I walk through the fire, through the waters, through the rivers. David said, if I walk through the valley. Isaiah again said, if I go through the desert. Psalm 107 says, I've gone through. Why? He has brought me to my desired heaven. I think it's Psalm 103. Hallelujah. It says, Psalm 107, verse 20. He brought me through to my desired heaven. Oh, hallelujah. The challenge should not define you. It should not make you confused and perplexed and make you think that God is a bad God. The challenge is to make you better. The challenge is to make you Israel out of Jacob. Jacob I loved. Why? Because he does not quit in challenge. He wrestled his way through to his blessing. Come on. God said, I love people who wrestle their way through oh, to become Israel for the glory of God. That is the story of a born again child of God. Tough times, painful times. Hallelujah. Sometimes you lose people. Somebody has gone to be with the Lord like my dad. Hallelujah. I've lost it. But hallelujah. You wrestle your way through. You became Israel. You change your season. You get into something better. Come on somebody tonight. And that too just months. Not years it will take. Hallelujah. The devil will put hurt. 
the devil will put condemnation the devil will try to attack your mind your mind is your battle fleet but the bible says no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper you will condemn every tongue that accuses you this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and the righteousness come from jesus take the shield of faith to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one put the whole helmet of hope of hope, salvation say i'm saved i am blessed hallelujah enemies tactics cannot override me come on somebody tonight nothing can override you hallelujah nothing can override you don't think like a small guy don't think like a loser don't think like a sick person think like a healthy person think like a victorious person that is the first step to your supernatural breakthrough bible says everything work together for the good for those who love him and who are called according to his purpose if you are in the purpose of god all things even your disappointment even your victory hallelujah all will work together that disappointment will not define you hallelujah you might have gone through a divorce you might have lost your child one hallelujah loved one hallelujah that will not define your life god will hallelujah use all those things and it will turn it for your good glory to god Hallelujah. This is the year you will not be preaching about your challenges. You will be preaching about your breakthrough. Not about your messes but your messages. Come on. Hallelujah. How God turned your hallelujah messes into oh come on somebody tonight. Not your pain but your gain. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. Hallelujah. Oh not your losses. You're going to count your blessings. Come on somebody tonight. Diva de la jara de la bala sambara de la de la bala zia. So a powerful scripture in Isaiah 61 1 it says spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor he has to to the meek he has sent me to bind up the broken heart to proclaim the liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound two words used one is liberty to the captives in other words word used opening the prison to those who are bound is it the same no captive i like what pastor said he said you can be taken by taken captive by somebody maybe something you're captivated by a demonic form of anger or lust or whatever you're taken captive you're getting into that same problem as if there is no end the moment of weakness come in and you're falling but prison is not that it's your own doing you know that it will get into trouble you know it will get you bound but you consciously willfully went into it but thank Jesus for his mercy whether it is the devil taken you captive or you walked into a bondage Jesus came to set the captives free and open the prison to those who are bound tonight in the name of the Lord every addictions to be broken everything that you are slave to whether to licentiousness sin pornography hallelujah lust let it be broken out of your life may the clenching blood of the holy spirit be upon you he's not angry with you hallelujah praise god he loves you to set you free he has exhausted his anger on the lord he said i will never be angry on you isaiah 53 was the cross isaiah 54 god said i will not be angry with your generation like i was angry with noah come on somebody he's not angry he love you too much to set you free tonight come on Oh, Rala ba sandala ba la sandala, jaba dika daga ba la sandala, dira dira, dibal gaba dika daga ba la sandala, dira dira. That's why you know that was God's hope tonight. Everybody, I hope tonight. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53 speaks about Jesus on the cross. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was a sheep before the shearers, a silent. But Isaiah 54 9 says But this is like the waters of Noah to me For as I have sown The waters of Noah would no longer cover the earth So I have sown that I would not be angry with you Nor rebuke you For the mountains shall depart 
and the hills may be removed but the steadfast love shall never depart from you i told you he loves you too much to keep you where you are to keep you prison bound to keep you captive to the sin he loves you too much to hallelujah to keep you alone to keep you lonely to keep you isolated he is coming he is coming to take you out he is coming to pick you up he is coming to take you and fight your battles come on Glory to God. It will get better. Job was righteous. He was a man who feared God, a man who devoted to God. The Bible says, a man of integrity who so offered sacrifices every day to God for him and for his children and for his family. Look at, he was a family man. But the devil came against him. Maybe we tied, we prayed, we've been faithful to the church. You honor the servants of God. But you say, why did this happen to me? This is not understandable. But tonight, hallelujah, God has not forgotten you. He's next to you. He is nearer to you more than once you believed. And he's going to deliver you and set you free tonight in the name of Jesus. The God of Job, come on, will deliver you tonight. The God of Job will deliver you tonight. The God of Daniel will take you out of the, come on. Oh, lion's den, come on, come on, come on. Jesus is setting you free. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you are a prisoner. You, you, do, you don't tithe. You don't love anybody. You always have complaining, hatred. You don't pray, don't fast, don't seek God. Once in a while you come to church, you scroll through the YouTube channel. You listen to every messages, little by little from every pastor. You walk in willful sin, willful disobedience. But tonight, if you're watching this, that means God's grace has appeared unto you tonight to deliver you from this sin, from willful disobedience. He is, loves you, hallelujah, more than you can ever know. And he will set you free tonight. Oh, in the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody tonight. Let you lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your liberty. He has come to set the prisoners free. How does this happen? How do things get better? When will double come? Three scriptures in 42nd chapter. It was so that after the Lord has spoken these words unto Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz, the Temanite. Some pastors say termite. <laughs> Temites, certain people are termites. Anyway, Temite, Temanite, my wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two friends. For you have not spoken of me the thing that is right as my servant Job has. They were friends for 37 chapters. They were discerning the life of Job. I'm saying. They thought they were speaking life into Job. If you want to enjoy better days ahead, what God has kept you to learn the, learn to remove wrong voices from your head. If you want to be restored double in February, second month, you need to distance yourself from wrong voices in your head. For 37 chapters, they portrayed a picture of God. I told you, they misrepresented God. They blamed Job. The Lord said, you have not spoken accurately of me. But guys, my servant Job has spoken accurately of me. He looked to the finished work of Jesus. Hallelujah. Job's friend condemned him from a religious perspective. But Job looked to it to his life through the finished work of Jesus. said, my Redeemer liveth. You have to learn to remove the wrong voices from your head. Can, you know, there can be always people around. You can never run away from them. Family or friends, co-workers or church members, social media, different voices will come. But you have to choose what voice that you will allow inside and what voice you will detach your life from. You cannot control the voice around you, but you can determine what is the voice. Who is the voice that will speak to me? The voice of life. What kind of conversation will I engage in? Hallelujah. Pastor was saying when he was young, there was a lot of youth. He said, 
the difference between that youth and today's youth we love youth but that youth will never ask you questions if you ask them to pray fast they'll just obey and they'll just diligently just follow it but today's youth if you tell them something you say stop doing that and they'll say why so initial people would respond to that voice but today if they don't like what the preacher is saying or pastor is saying lay look for another voice that speak into them so many times they continue or they get into captivity i've seen or stay in their bondage or get into new bondages and become independent and arrogant if you have to move beyond where you are today pastor said you have to move beyond the voices that are engaging your mind negative voices voices of fear voices coming through social media voices of your past voices that are not helping you voices that are condemning you what what voices voices that is are importing you back to where you've come it's not imparting let it go let go whether it's coming from any source if it's not imparting life of god scriptures if it is not imparting the life of jesus if it's not tuned with the holy spirit let it go if it is not tuned with what is taught in the house of god from his spiritual father let it go look at two people and said let it go it can be a voice of unbelief mark 10 the bible says bartimeo was cried out jesus son of david have mercy on me when he cried out till that time nobody was bothered about bartimeo you know years back when i was in bahrain i said as long as you're shouting in bahrain nobody have a problem but you go to your home and start to say jesus everybody will have a problem when you take a stand and shout for jesus bartimeo was taking a stand i pray this february many will have the guts to take a stand for the name of jesus you are not people should know that you are not negotiable you cannot be sold for 30 pieces of silver that your convictions are true here is a man of conviction religious people are saying shut up be quiet atheist people are there sometimes you know they say shut up you know we we, we came for a peaceful meeting but there are people who are unbelief hey don't do that i've done that and nothing happened hallelujah or oh, elders will say hey, that's too loud too loud they would say tell that man to keep quiet please address him come on we don't address when somebody shouts to the lord because jesus encouraged it jesus responded to it we can do anything that will get the response of god come on somebody tonight hallelujah amen hallelujah praise god i am not a pastor hallelujah like pastor said he will never tell the bartimeus to keep quiet hallelujah we encourage them we don't put a glue into their seats we want people to jump we want the people to be loved we want people to lift up the name of jesus we want people hallelujah oh who respond to the prophetic voices we want people who is not afraid to lift up the name of jesus hallelujah let that voice of unbelief and religion leave you tonight in the name of the lord certain people say it's easy use your inside voice don't use your outside voice use both voices use both voices as a christian hallelujah it can be a voice of condemnation in john 10:8 the bible says there was a woman who was caught in the act of adultery they caught her in the act they didn't catch the other actor they caught her in the act of adultery one of the most shameful things is not sinning but when while you are sinning you are found out so one of the greatest shame hallelujah they just brought the woman before the lord one thing you should always learn is rudala barasya tar sal bala duratthala bala jaradala barasya diladuradara bara sambal gavana duradara sya 
if you want anybody to be judged don't bring them at the feet of Jesus hallelujah amen because you'll be disappointed because Jesus will never judge them Jesus said where is the one who cast the stones hallelujah said let the one who does not have sin cast the first stone nobody dared to do it he says if they did not do it nor will I and he said go and sin no more your sins are forgiven go and sin no more glory to God hallelujah amen hallelujah not go sin more like some people this is not here go sin no no go and sin no more and there are people sometimes still they fall still they fall like still the Lord will come after you Bible says righteous fall seven times but they get up they get up because sometimes you you're weak you're not strong in your scriptures you sometimes keep falling but I like one man of God said he said a Christian is always getting up he's already always up or on the verge of getting up he's never down you can never down for a long time it's the grace of God hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord come with your brokenness today you might have fallen multiple times don't lose hope Jesus is close to the broken hearted come with your weaknesses vulnerability don't hide from him hallelujah he he gives second chances come on in the second month in the name of Jesus he will not condemn you he will restore back to you you might mess up again God knows you but he knows how to strengthen you to a point where the you will resist the sin and the sin will flee and the enemy will flee come keep coming to the Lord look at two people and say keep coming to the Lord keep coming to Jesus of the Bible never allow the voice of condemnation to make you think that you can never walk in this Christian life Romans 1 16 and 17 says in him we have righteousness that comes from the Lord this gospel there is a righteousness which from faith to faith you keep coming to the Lord keep declaring that you are the righteousness of God you will move from faith to faith hallelujah you'll have victory Hallelujah. May every voice of condemnation tonight over your mind be broken in the name of Jesus. Another voice that you need to overcome is the voice of dishonor. Dishonor sometimes does not have a sound, but it has an expression. It's not sometimes, you know, somebody calls, uh, you know, you're a pastor and somebody calls by your name. That's not what dishonor is about. It is their expressions, the attitude, it's the arrogance. You can... F- you can know that from from within them there are people who call you pastor but you look at their attitude you look at their eyes you look at their demeanor you look at their posture you can tell there is a dishonor whether it is their parents where people who have spiritually raised them people who are praying for them when they come into you know the way they respond Ask the Lord tonight, give a spirit of honor. I hear pastor telling me many times in my life, honor is the key. You kill the miraculous if you don't honor. Jesus came to his own city to do mighty things, but the Bible says he could not do mighty things because of unbelief. Because the Bible says they dishonored him. There was so much of unbelief that this dishonored. He said, he's a carpenter's son. Familiarity brings contempt. It kills the miraculous. He could only heal few people. Wow, the God who calmed the storm, the God who broke the Red Sea into two, the God who brought the Jericho down, come on somebody tonight, hallelujah, came into his own town, could not do a single thing other than to heal the small healings because dishonor will kill the miraculous. But when you honor, confusion will go and clarity will come. 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 17 says, let the elders that rule will be counted worthy of double honor especially those who labor in the word and the doctrine in the second month learn about 
double honor something that has blessed my life if there is a dishonor in your tone and an attitude then sometimes it will come out people cannot act for a long time in the presence of god even when you come to church you skip the worship come for the word or you sit down put your hands no lifting up hands it's all dishonor coming up late rala baka satoria you'll always have a confused look you'll say i don't know pastor what's happening most of the time you should say my dishonor dishonoring god or honoring god honoring once god will raise you up he said he will lift up the humble he will raise the humble hallelujah so through the spirit of honor enjoy the miraculous distance yourself from, from voices who dishonor amen one of the other voices that you have to distance yourself is temptations the voices that tempt you if you keep entertain the temptations you will eventually sin the desire will be birthed in james chapter 1:14 says how do you overcome temptations are not sin but don't stay in the temptation to the point of a desire is birthed inside when the devil came to tempt jesus the devil never asked jesus to sin he said Tur- turn stone into bread what's sinful about it it's very legitimate jesus is the living bread he has taken five loaves and two fish multitude of bread then what is the wrong in devil is saying take the stone stone into bread it's a timing it's a timing but god you, he says you do this now what god does not want you to do something in other words a good thing at the wrong time god has not told you to do it and if you still do it it's sin it's temptation because you're not giving glory to god jesus came to hallelujah multiply he came to feed them feed bread to them multitudes but not at this moment come on sir. overtaking the holy spirit i remember pastor saying when my dad was you know when he came to the lord one of the things that my dad told him was never overtake the holy spirit come on somebody tonight those who are led by the spirit they are sons of god be tuned to the spirit keep in step with the holy spirit hallelujah so why is of temptation need not be sin it's a timing when you're supposed to thank god instead of thanking god grumbling murmuring questioning questioning god imagine you have a destination to go and gps has to get you into that destination but the coordinate of those gps is complaining and murmuring it won't get you to the place where god has for you orala basan God will never get you into a place He has got for you with a bad attitude Go rala bas ask the Lord Lord remove bad attitude Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Hallelujah Blessed be the name of the Lord some people do things to prove other people wrong and you know? it's like i i'm going to make it my own that kind of attitude heaven is not going to say amen to that you might be doing preaching ministering praying everything but to prove that i have a ministry to prove people wrong no you only do ministry for the love for people you minister because you're scared somebody else will take your ministry no that's not the reasons that you minister you minister not out of competition comparison not even for money you minister love for people and because you love the people and love god and you hate the devil so much something will be birth everything else is strange fire is it fire yes but it's strange lord hated strange fires wrong timing Hallelujah.
say, Lord, have mercy on me for my wrong attitude. Hallelujah. Pastor said something powerful. He said, it is not about going to a place. It is getting to that place looking like Jesus. Say, Lord, help me to get into that place looking like Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 61 7 for your shame you shall have doubled and for your confusion they shall rejoice in their portion in their land they shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them he says instead of shame you'll have double open your mouth and say instead of shame I'll have double honor double for the trouble twice as much of blessing amen if you want to get into that place you have to change your dialect your way you speak you need to change it hallelujah in the book of Job God didn't answer any of Job questions. Job was going through the hell of the life on his earth. God did not even answer a single simple question Job raised. Three friends were speaking into their life and they did not speak what was right about God or about Job. What do you do when you go through things like that? It's easy to judge people. Easy to put down people. But can you lift up somebody who are going through it? Look at the answer Paul gave to Romans 12, 15. It says, rejoice with them that rejoice and weep with them that weep. In Ezekiel chapter 3, the Bible says, Ezekiel the prophet, he could prophesy. He was a mighty man of God. He has valor, he had strength, he has the word, he had the power. But the Bible says he went into the valley and sat with the people of captivity. I think in Ezekiel 3, 12. Can you sat, sit in somebody else's? place and have pity and have compassion on them hallelujah can you put yourself in somebody else's shoes oh hallelujah 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 Sometimes you don't need to preach people. You, need, you, you don't need to, you know, sit with them. Care for them. You don't need to send a message from YouTube. You need to weep with the weeping. Hurt with the hurting. But when you study the book of Job, you'll find that many times in your life, you will never have all the answers. Pastor said, you know, sometimes when you goes to people he said he ministers he spent a lot of time and energy uh, read the word read through the teachings everything doctrine but he said, when the actual time comes he said Lord unless you are there that's all matters it's not about giving a theological discourse <laughs> it's about ushering the presence in that moment Come on, may you be people who usher God's presence wherever you go. Wherever you go, may you carry the aroma of Christ. May you represent God correctly. May you bring God's glory into that house. Come on, somebody tonight. May people feel Jesus when you touch them. May you have a soft heart and a uh, 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 hallelujah and a big heart, not a big head. Come on, somebody tonight. Hallelujah. Here Jesus is the answer and here Jesus is not saying anything to Jesus. The answer is refusing to give an answer. But we can pray with them. We can weep with them. We can comfort them. We can be there. Unless you are there. Other day I went to a funeral. Not somebody very close to but. But somebody was very close to my pastor. I went there to their home and everybody said, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Why? I want to be there. Because somebody who is hurting, none of the things that you're going to say is going to be relevant in that trouble. When they're in a the good space, they can say, Amen. Many times they're hurting. Just be there. Comfort. I mean, you know, in my life, I made many mistakes. I thought, you know, you have to keep bombarding into the... no 
through years you will understand that's not what it is job 42 5 says i've heard of thee by hearing of you but now my eyes have seen i finished with this this is the month whatever you have heard you're going to see you're going to experience nee ketta dalla nee kaanunna oru maasamayi maarate ende jeevidhum ninde jeevidhum angane ayi maarate lift your hands let me have a witness let me have a shout let me have a grace somebody agree with me what have we have heard the prophecies the prophetic all the lands that you buy the houses that you have not built may you build. see hallelujah the wells you have not dug nee hallelujah paniyatha veedugal nee kira kulikatha kinarugal hallelujah praise the lord nee cheyatha shushrushagal nee move your the bishegangal nee got the stalangal hallelujah nations have gone in never gone hallelujah anointings have never moved hallelujah oh all the miracles you've never seen oh houses that were not built where's this oh you don't deserve oh may you be a portion a hundred fold increase blessed be the name of jesus hallelujah glory to god tonight let every spirit of condemnation discouragement be broken tonight every fear be broken tonight in the name of jesus job 42:3 and has finished who is that hide the knowledge who is who is he that hide the counsel without knowledge therefore have i uttered that i understood not things too wonderful for me which i knew not it says therefore i have uttered things that i understood not hallelujah the golden verse of the bible is god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son he didn't give the son and then take away he gave the son the bible says job is saying things i did not understand i spoke lord i'm sorry i heard of thee now i see thee hallelujah he did not give the son he will not bless you to remove it hallelujah may you have an encounter with jesus christ the son of the living god the merciful king the one who is like i told you on sunday the one who is at your stand by the holy spirit who is backing you up the god of job is back you may you have a hallelujah encounter with the God of Job where you give you double for your trouble everything that is lost hallelujah let it come back in the name of the Lord just imagine you have a tomato seed you don't plant a tomato seed and get one tomato you get many tomatoes give your life to the Lord give everything you have you can never out give God your seed is going into your future as a harvest you cannot outsmart God that's what God is telling Job listen the devil hallelujah is a liar open your mouth and say devil is a liar the devil cannot outsmart you if this god is in you everything that the thief has stolen bible says he will give you seven for job 2 says i will give you the years the locust have eaten glory to god the chewing locust the swarming locust the consuming locust the <laughs> all the locust the swarming locust Zechariah 2:12 9 12 says turn you to the stronghold you prisoners of hope even today even today do i declare that i will render double unto thee you prisoners of hope you're not a prisoner you're a prisoner of hope i told you this is a message of hope i'll restore double to you but you have to be a prisoner of hope in the month of january twice as much as needed of every blessing is going to show up in my life in your life lift your hands and say hallelujah glory to god blessed be the name of the lord few more scriptures on the number 2 in in genesis 7 11 in the 600th year of noah's life in the second month in the 17th day of the month the same day everybody same day but all the foundations of the great great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened waters in heavens and what was beneath everything was open wow what a blessing nothing that is not open come on glory to god nothing what god says will not open hallelujah is remaining closed everything will open job will open up hallelujah heavens will be open up 
look at the jerusalem we have we have an earthly jerusalem pray for the city of jerusalem the bible says but in john 21 says there is a heavenly jerusalem don't forget that one of these days if you're given your life jesus you will be a part partaker not only of the earthly jerusalem on earth you have a heavenly jerusalem to come there is a double blessing life on earth and life in heaven that word double means abundant for every pain that you've gone through a double fold of blessing in the book of john chapter 2 abundant a storm came to attack the family but the presence of jesus calmed the storm not only calmed the storm more wine that they need best wine abundant wine like we say let's have a family time but the lord gave me you know just a murmur in my ear this year it's not going to be like family time but your family time will be the miracle time with jesus not just family time the lord said but every family time will be a miracle time with jesus inside that your marriages will be restored people who have not married will get married people who know money will have money will be abundant of ministries hallelujah glory to god come on somebody i like what pastor told me he prophesied you'll be taking the team and ministering oh that's going to happen for the glory of god if somebody said i want to be a part of that hallelujah let's close our eyes in prayer you deserve the glory you are great you do miracles hallelujah let's believe tonight for an abundant miracle from the presence of god let's close our eyes say this prayer after me lord jesus i give my life to you lord you turned the captivity of job lord when he prayed for his friends i don't keep unforgiveness lord i bless everyone tonight bless everyone tonight i believe for the double for the trouble lord i believe for the double for the trouble i believe that i will have twice as much lord amen lord in the second month oh lord jesus i pray not only for me but my family our church my brothers my sisters my parents my in-laws my in-laws my pastor my spiritual father let everybody have double lord everybody have in the season in the name of the lord in the name of the lord i thank you lord thank you lord my little affliction for a moment for months you will remove it lord you will remove it lord in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i sorry i was complaining and bitter lord bitter lord as my heart fill wash my heart lord wash my heart lord with your precious blood with your precious blood and my life never be the same again amen thank you help me to not only be restored but help me to sit with people who are hurt who are wounded and help me to comfort them lord in their time to anoint me to have clarity lord i renounce the voices of unbelief voices of dishonor voices of doubt i want to do the right thing at the right time anoint me to do that for your name for your glory sake lord i renounce satan i renounce it I renounce the world. Jesus, be my only Lord and Savior. May life may my life never be the same again. May life become better. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we lift your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no
Lord is blessing homes tonight, every storm in the home, oh, whether in the form of spiritually, emotionally, demonically, whatever the reason God is quietening it, I command calmness and peace in the month of February, may be restored double, may you go to the other side, may you have the best wine, the true wine, will Jesus be the winemaker over your life tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank you for doing it, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's take the bread in our hands. All those who have accepted Jesus Christ as the only Lord and Savior of your life. For I receive from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take heed, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Lord, as we come before the table, Lord, they were made. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We acknowledge the cross, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your body was bruised. Your body was broken that we be healed, Lord. We walk in wholeness, Lord. Lord, transform us, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord. Hallelujah. As we come before the table, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeshua, Lord, hallelujah. We be set right, Lord. Lord, transform us, Lord. The way we think, Lord. The way we speak, Lord. Our hearts be right, Lord. Our heads be right, Lord. Our thought process be right, Lord. Lord, set us up for the miracle, Lord. Our attitudes change, Lord. Lord, make us, Lord. Mold us, Lord. Hallelujah. Of the fear, leave, Lord. Hallelujah. Anxieties, leave, Lord. As we take the blood, Lord. As we come before the table, Lord. Lord, we know, Lord, there's the power in the table. Lord, that the, that the mighty power of the table transforms us, Lord. Lord, we pray in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Bless the spread. Bless our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's partake of it together. All hand declare Jesus. the glory of the risen Lord who can compare the beauty of the Lord forever you will be forever you will be the Lamb upon the throne the Lamb upon the throne oh, yes, I gladly bow my knee bow my knee and worship you also took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me father we thank you lord for the holy blood of jesus we thank you for the blood that speak a better word over our lives we thank you lord the hope that we have through the holy blood we have this hope lord the anchor of this hope hallelujah lord jesus lord we thank you you are the anchor of our hope we are thank you 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 have made us the prisoners of hope i thank you lord every prisoner lord every captive will come out of their prison hallelujah lord prison doors lord every mess that they've moved into gotten into let them come out of lord because of this hope we have through your holy blood on the cross tonight let there be no captive let there be no prisoner lord tonight lord we thank you the yoke of the enemy is broken tonight we thank you for total liberty and freedom lord we thank you for opening Bring the eyes of the blind tonight Amen. to see what you have prepared for them, Lord. We give you glory and honor, Lord. Bless this, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. There be open heavens above them tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless this cup. Bless our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's partake of the cup tonight. And as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Many of you believe our Lord Jesus oh, yeah. come back a second time. Everybody who has this hope, Hallelujah. lift your hands and thank the Lord. He's a loving God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. You're not angry with your people tonight. 
you love them too much Lord to keep them in the place they are we thank you Lord for lifting each one tonight into their portion into their double let them enjoy their portion hallelujah in the name of let them enjoy their double oh hallelujah Lord I release it over them Lord hallelujah Lord Jesus we give you praise we give you glory Lord hallelujah Lord in the name of Jesus I decree and declare it over their life tonight in the month of February the Lord is setting your double minds Amen. Bible says a double minded man receive nothing tonight God is giving you that single mindedness Hallelujah. to receive your double come on Amen. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I bless them forth the Lord in the name of the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus and in the name and the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name Amen hallelujah look at two people and say this is the month of your double amen this is a month of your double hallelujah glory to god hallelujah glory to god let's take a final song double double hallelujah Your breakthrough double double to double double and anointing double double and anointing double double your money double double your money double double your children double double your children double double hey my god is good oh hey my god is good oh 